Congratulations. This is fantastic. And I have to ask you first, Lorraine, what was it like for you to relive this experience? You mean from the beginning? Well, basically, you know, when James came to you and said he was going to make this film, and then the whole experience of talking to Vera and Patrick, yes. and just and then watching it. Well, just to, you know, when I, the last time when I was out there mm -hmm. on the coast, well, I am, I'm, I'm out here on the coast again. <laughs> but in, 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 uh, Different coast. Uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, I, 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 you, I sat next to you. There was children coming and asking questions. Mm -hmm. At that time, I realized how I, I, I could speak to you. You know, you weren't somebody way, way, way up here. <laughs> that you were a down-to-earth person that, could, that I could explain things to. Because my psychic ability, I, I, that is nothing that I had control over. I had no control over it at all. I was educated in private Catholic girls' schools, and there's no such thing as anything like this happening. And I would keep, kept going to confession, I'd go to confession and confess that, that I was sinning. <laughs> and then I was with this Jesuit priest. I said, that's not a sin. He says, that's you. Why me? He says, I, I can't give you that answer, and you're never going to have the answer. I'm never going to? He says, yes, you have to, you'll, you'll learn to live with it and control it. I, I, knew, I live with it, but it, you, it, you don't control it. Yeah. Um, James, for you to take on this, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this story and to tell it, and to have Lorraine there, you know, mm -hmm. wow, how amazing was that for you? It was amazing. I've been uh, been a big fan of Lorraine's for a while. Um, growing up, you know, I've seen, um, you know, I've read stories and seen, um, you know, certain movies that were based on cases that Lorraine and Ed had investigated. And uh, and when the time came, when the pro when this project came along, I had just finished Insidious, and uh, and I wanted to get back into studio filmmaking, and uh, and this was like the perfect project for me to get back into it with. Um, you know, the chance to um, um, take what I've honed over the years as a filmmaker and, you know, and bring it to this particular movie and, you know, and to do, you know, justice to the story of, um, of the Warrens and, and also the parents as well that, that are the other set of family that are involved in this film. Was there ever a time where you both decided you wanted to go back to that house? The real house? Mm -hmm. uh, not with me, no. <laughs> You and I, no, you, me. You, you and I, let's say both. <laughs> you, you, one, it, it, it follows you. What was there follows you. It was very negative, very, very negative home. It really drained everything out of you to go in that house. Yeah, it was less scary to just build a set of the house. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the casting, phenomenal. Um, really, like Lily, boy, did she ever take a beating. Uh, mm -hmm. Vera, to play you, you know, how much time did you spend with Vera and Patrick, I guess, to just, you know, let them know what was really going on in yours and Ed's life? You mean, why, why we're investigating, or? Well, no, no, when, when Vera and Patrick were, were cast. Oh, yes. You obviously had to spend some time, and, and you know, mm -hmm. how, yeah. how did you, you know, fill them in on what happened and get them to really know how you felt and what you went through? You had to have been a huge help to them. Well, I don't, I don't know how to really approach that. You know, I really don't, I don't have the answer for you on that. You, you have to help people to understand things. You have to do it in pieces. You know, like, like you were, um, to, for a child, like you were trying to mm -hmm. explain something to a child. Because the, the normal person Imagine going through this. Mm -hmm. Just imagine going through it. You know, it's horrible. It's very, very terrifying. And, and that house was very, very bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was bad. Yeah, wow. Well, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to go there. No, you wouldn't. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, no not even. No. Like, it was uh, scary enough for me to watch this movie. <laughs> I know Vera. Um, Vera was very interested in playing playing the role of Lorraine. Yes. And, uh, I and like her. It, she's, well, you know, it's like, 
it, it's great to be played by one of the classiest, most beautiful actresses out there. <laughs> yeah, and she is. She she's is beautiful. And, and she's, she's a talented beautiful person. person. That's it. Yes. She's an amazing person. Mm -hmm. And uh, and um, I know that um, you know. When, when we first, when Vera first came on this project, we talked a lot about you know how we were going to approach um, her character, her, her you know her depiction of Lorraine, and uh, and you know and she was very adamant too about um, wanting to you know be be true to Lorraine and like and she wanted to bring all the um, all the character you know all the character quirks that Lorraine yeah. has you know all the <laughs> thing that make you who you are that make you real yeah. and so uh, and so she didn't just want to portray one one side she wanted to kind of like you know f really flesh her out and, and and Patrick did the same thing as well mm -hmm. and uh, and so it was really great I mean like I feel very fortunate to have um, these really great actors in there with me to uh, to to come along on this journey and make this film what, how can you how do you make a how do you make a scare so easily you are so a master he's a master at this mm -hmm. don't you think mm -hmm. I mean wh what is your secret yes, how do you, you are. what is it in your what is it in your little brain there James that makes us like you're just so good. Good. <laughs> I don't think it's too much no I, and I think very physical here he's amazing at there's this something stuff. wrong with his brain no um, there's nothing wrong with it you no. do such a good job I like seriously uh, people do ask me this a lot uh, I don't have a secret I just I, I tell them um, you know, I just try to put on screen um, whatever things that I find scary. You know, things that I, I'm creeped out by. And, uh, and you know, usually people say to me, oh, James, you make these kind of films, you must not be afraid of them. I'm like, no, quite the contrary. I, I'm, uh, I'm quite a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm a wuss. Call, okay? it, the, call it the way it is. <laughs> yes. I, I, I'm, uh, I get frightened very easily, and I think um, because of that, I can channel it and put it into uh, into my film. And uh, and I think that is my way of um, dealing with it. Uh, it's uh, it's I find it therapeutic. Yeah, you must. Oh, wow, yes. it's just a, such a great job. I have to ask you quickly about your museum mm -hmm. and all the artifacts that you had in the house when you were younger and you still have this. How on earth did you live in a house having all that stuff there? It's I not in my house, honey. It's not in in my home. Uh, my home, all right, let me explain. My home is on a couple of levels. And you get down to the lowest level. They, it's, at the, it's one big room, another, another bath, another my office and I, is on that. Then there's a passageway that goes partly underground and then partly out to the museum. And you go out that way. It's blessed by, I can't even tell you how many blessings. I mean, I'm Catholic and so I'm not a class, but a lot, even rabbis have been in there and done blessings. Well, that's good to know because, man, I, I'd be very scared to live well, without that uh, stuff. <laughs> you know, it, yes, it, you have to be. You have to be aware. You know, it, it's nothing that you see. It's nothing sometimes that you hear. But you know. You know. You go, especially when you go down the passageway. You know, well, God bless you both. My goodness, what an amazing film. You've done such a wonderful job. I can't wait for Insidious 2. Oh, my God. I'm already freaking about that. And what a pleasure to meet you. You're such a lovely lady. And uh, best of luck to both of you. Thank you so much.